In this video, I will demonstrate how to generate a Bitcoin address starting from a randomly generated number. I will show you all the steps which are needed to create this address. Open a browser and go to www.mobafish.com. Select Services and select Blockchain and Cryptocurrency Tools. Scroll down the page until you find the tool Cryptocurrency Address Generator and Validator. This one. Click on the link. The Cryptocurrency Address Generator and Validator page is now displayed. On the right hand side you will see the checkbox Show More Details. By enabling or disabling this checkbox you can show or hide detailed information. It is now enabled. And now it is disabled. Each time I press the Generate button, a new Bitcoin address is generated. New Bitcoin is address generated. Again, 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 again. If the checkbox is disabled, it hides all intermediate steps. It only shows you the randomly generated number, the private key hex, private key with uncompressed, private key with compressed, private key uncompressed, and the public key compressed. It does not show you how the private key with uncompressed is calculated or the private key with compressed. If the checkbox is enabled, it will now show you all the intermediate steps. These steps. In this demo, I will be focusing on creating a Bitcoin address and not other cryptocurrencies such as Litecoin. Enable show more details because I want to see all intermediate steps. Press the clear button to clear all previous entered and calculated values. Now we are set up to generate a Bitcoin address. This tool offers three methods to generate a random number. If you use method one, you can automatically generate a cryptographically secure random number by pressing the generate button or you can press the escape button. If you use method 2, you can create a random number by rolling a 16-sided dice 64 times. I will make a separate video to demonstrate this method. If you use method 3, you can create a random number by entering a strong password or passphrase. Let's try this method first. Enter for example this password. This password will be hashed twice using the SHA-256 algorithm. Each time if you use the SHA-256 algorithm, it creates a 32 bytes hash value and that is exactly the number of bytes we want for our random number. The variable private key hex is the randomly generated number which is also the private key. This online application uses the SHA-256 algorithm twice. Other online applications may use other hash algorithms or can apply the SHA-256 algorithm one time or more times. If you use this method, always use a strong password or passphrase. Bitcoin addresses has been hacked because people were using simple passwords. It is therefore not recommended to use this method. The private key is also converted in the base 58, base 64, decimal and binary format. This is only done for educational, development or testing purpose. These values are not being used in this tool. Now we know how method 3 works, now let's try method 1. The majority of people will be using method 1. Method 1 uses the browser Web Crypto API. If your browser does not support the Web Crypto API, it uses the Stanford JavaScript Crypto Library. Press the clear button. Press the generate button to generate a cryptographically secure random number. Each time you press the generate button, a new random number is generated. Here's the randomly generated number. I keep pressing the generate button and as you can see over here, new random numbers are generated. Each block represents a byte. And the byte is represented by two hexadecimal values. In this example, this block has the hexadecimal value FB. 
if you concatenate the random numbers, it is the same as the private key, as can be seen over here. So FB, FB, CC, CC, etc. In part 16 of the blockchain tutorial series, I have used this drawing to explain what Bitcoin compressed and uncompressed addresses are. The cryptocurrency address generator and validator tool, however, uses a different naming convention. I have placed both drawings side by side so you can easily see the difference. The major difference lies in the usage of the word key instead of address. Please be aware of this. As you can see, the word address is used, but in the online tool, the word key is used instead. I will now disable the show more details checkbox. Each time the generate button is pressed, a new random number is generated here and here, but also the private key with uncompressed, private key with compressed, public key uncompressed, and the public key compressed. Let's demonstrate this. I will be making a separate video about vanity addresses and paper wallets. This video only focuses on how the private key with uncompressed, private key with compressed, public key uncompressed, and public key compressed are generated. I will now show you all the steps which is needed to generate the private key with uncompressed. From private key hex to private key with uncompressed. First, I press the clear button. For educational purpose, I'm copying the following private key in the private key hex field, which I've been using in the previous videos. I now enable show more details to show you all the steps. Here is our private key hex value. This is our randomly generated number. And this is the private key with uncompressed value. These are all the steps which are needed to create the private key wallet input format uncompressed value. Each cryptocurrency private key has their own prefix version number. Bitcoin has hex value 80, Litecoin has hex value B0. Prepend this version number in front of the private key hex value. As you can see over here, the hex value 80 is prepended. Here's 80 and then 79FE and 79FE is the private key hex value. This value is assigned to the variable private key version. Next, the private key version is hashed with the SHA-256 hash algorithm. This is the hashed value and assigned to the variable hash A1. The hash A1 value is again hashed with the SHA-256 algorithm and the value is assigned to the variable hash A2. Next, get the first four bytes of the hash A2 value. That's in total eight characters. 247B01DC. That's the hash value. The hash value is assigned to the variable checksum A. Checksum A is appended at the end of the private key version variable. The last step is to base58 encode the private key checksum value and the result is this private key wallet input format uncompressed value. And as you can see, this address starts with the character 5, which we expect. I will now show you all the steps which is needed to generate the private key with compressed. Starting from private key hex to private key with compressed. Now I will show you all the steps which are needed to create the private key wallet input format compressed value. That's this value. And here are all the steps which are needed. First, we start again with the private key hex value. 
we prepend it with the hex value 80, that's the prefix version number, and at the end we append the hex value 01. The hex value 01 is a compression thread which indicates that the private key is compressed. As you can see over here, this is the private key. 80 is the prefix version number, and this is the compression flag 01. This value is assigned to the variable private key version comp. Next, we hash this private key version comp with the SHA-256 algorithm. This is the hashed value and assigned to the hash B1 variable. Again, the hash B1 value is hashed again with the SHA-256 algorithm. This is the value and assigned to the hash B2 variable. Next is to get the first four bytes of the hash B2 value. That's in total eight characters. 716FBA1A. This checksum value is assigned to the checksum B variable. Next, we append the checksum B value at the end of the private key version comp value. So we take this value and append this checksum value at the end. The last step is to base58 encode the private key checksum comp value. The result is the private key with compressed value, as you can see over here. The private key with compressed value begins with the character L or K. In this example, it starts with the letter L. I will now show you all the steps which is needed to generate the public key uncompressed. Starting from public key hex to public key uncompressed. In this section is explained how the public key is calculated. Here is the public key x value, here is the public key y value. The public key value consists of the x value concatenated with the y value, as you can see over here. So how is the public key uncompressed value calculated? Meaning, how is this value calculated? We start with the public key, that is this key, and prepended is the hex value 04. So here is 04, and then following is the public key, the same as this one. This value is assigned to the variable public key version. Next is to hash the public key version with the SHA-256 algorithm, that's this value, and this value is assigned to the variable hash c1. Next, the value hash c1 is hashed again, but now with the hash algorithm rip md160. This hash algorithm generates a 160-bit hash value. This value is assigned to the variable hash c2. The value hash c2 is prepended with the prefix value 00. Each cryptocurrency public key has their own prefix version number. Bitcoin has hex value 00. Litecoin has hex value 30. This value is assigned to the variable public key version has C. The public key version has C value is hashed with the SHA-256 algorithm. This value is then assigned to the variable hash C3. The value hash C3 is hashed again with the SHA-256 algorithm, and this value is assigned to the hash C4 variable. Then we take the first four bytes, which is eight characters. 0B831076 is a checksum, and this value is assigned to the variable checksum C. The checksum C value is appended at the end of the public key version hash C, this value and this value is appended at the end. The last step is to base58 encode the public key checksum C value, and the result is this value. 
If you press the view button, this address is checked in the blockchain info website. I will now show you all the steps which is needed to generate the public key compressed, starting from private key hex till public key compressed. Now I will show you how to calculate the public key compressed, meaning how to calculate this value. First, we need to check if the y value is odd or even. If the y value is even, we have to use the prefix value 02. If the y value is odd, the prefix value 03 is used. In this example, the y value is odd, so we need to append prefix value 03 to the x value. This is the x value, and this is value 03. This value is assigned to the variable public key version comp. Next, we need to hash the public key version comp value with the SHA-256 algorithm. This is the hash value. This hash value is assigned to the variable hashd1. The hashd1 value is hashed again with the ripmd160 hash algorithm. This value is now assigned to the hash d2 variable. The prefix version number 00, 0 is prepended to the hash d2 value, as can be seen over here. 00, 0 is appended to this value. Each cryptocurrency public key has their own prefix version number. Bitcoin has the hex value 00. 0. Litecoin has the hex value 30. This value is assigned to the variable public key version hash d. The public key version hash d value is hashed with the SHA-256 hash algorithm. This hash value is assigned to the variable hash d3. The hash d3 value is hashed again with the SHA-256 algorithm. This hash value is assigned to the variable hash d4. Again, we take the first four bytes of hash d4, meaning the first eight characters of the hash d4 value, that's E84FB4EA. This checksum value is assigned to the variable checksum D. The checksum D value is appended to the public key version hash D value, that's this value, and then appended is this checksum value at the end. This value is assigned to the public key checksum D variable. The last step is to base 58 encode the public key checksum D value. The result is this public key compressed value. If you press the view button, this address is checked in the blockchain info website. New Bitcoin clients uses the private key with compressed format and the public key compressed format. If we take the private key with compressed value and copy it, we press the clear button. All entered and calculated values are deleted. If we paste the value back in the private key with compressed field, The private key is restored, and if the private key is restored, it can calculate the public keys. If you export the private key with uncompressed or the private key with compressed, you can always restore its corresponding public keys. But the other way is not possible.